Hello and greetings from Jeffrey Saunders. This is just a quick video and I'll go ahead and read this. This picture was taken by the New Horizons spacecraft as it came closest to Pluto on July 14, 2015. In the crater you will find an alien spacecraft being used as a central control module in an underground mining operation. Numerous tubes and even a talus hopper can be seen. This picture is still available on the NASA website and nobody has noticed this yet that I know of. Even NASA apparently is unaware the photo displays an alien spacecraft parked within a crater on Pluto. There are more objects nearby indicating this is an old and extensive operation. All the white stuff you see is nitrogen ice, which covers Pluto extensively. So here are the photos. It's actually a photo strip. Uh, this is the same one that you'll find on the website link that I have below. You click on it once then click on it again and then right click and you can save it because you probably want to save this and look at it in your own uh, image viewer and you might just want to get it before it's taken down or uh, changed this is the same photo by the way uh, some time ago that was used by the fake channel Mars Anomalies and claiming that there were all kinds of uh, domed cities and everything else mainly up here at the top of this um, didn't spend any time down here looking at where all the real stuff was so we'll go ahead and just hit the photo real quick here I'll go ahead and zoom it up a little bit so I can scroll down to this area down here which is the crater in question and we just scroll down through this and we'll get right to it here here's the crater obviously there's something in the crater and I can zoom in on this a little bit just want to show you some highlights uh, once you get your own photo you can check this out a little closer there's other things to see though but here's the hopper it's a trapezoidal side on this side but it's flat on the top it's got some kind of a pad that it slides back and forth on and whatever it is they're mining for they're dumping the talus out here it almost looks like it's all over the side of the crater here and this thing apparently moves back and forth. Now if you look, there's a straight tube that goes from here to a fitting right here. There's another big tall round cylindrical fitting here and with this tubing set up here and we got another tube coming out that goes here and it looks like it goes in the ground here. This is part of the platform that this is all sitting in. Uh, this is a 90 degree uh, turn where it goes up. I think that this side is probably the same as this side but the Sun is reflecting off of this side but it's not hitting this because it's in the shade but the Sun's coming from the upper right so it's coming down and it is hitting this thing. Now on top here there's a big rectangular box with rounded corners on it. You can see it reflecting right here. Uh, these, This is actually a tube but it's Apparently they have these tubes in sections. One, two, three, four. So you can see four of the sections. This is also sectional. So that's a clue to how they're doing this. Is these are sections and they, they appear to be rounded sections that are just put together. Now, I don't know what this is, but I'm sure it has a, a, a function. Probably uh, maybe it's a solar heat collector or something. Um, but here's the actual ship that's used as a module. You can see the lines radiating out from it. I'm not sure what the scale here is. Uh, I really doubt that this thing's a quarter of a mile or something. It's probably a few hundred feet. 
because this is really a small planet and if you look around you see more tubes and stuff up over here uh, another thing you might want to concentrate on is looking at this apparatus here this is a tall cylindrical rounded top tank and then these are tubes coming from in within the crater wall uh, through here this one comes and goes under this one comes in here goes turn and goes over here in order to see this stuff better you do have to play with your uh, brightness and uh, sharpness and stuff like that and then down here there's a like a little ledge sticking out that's kind of round and it's got a uh, looks almost looks like liquid in here and then we see the nitrogen ice around all over so there it is it's in the crater there are other things to see here too but you really should check out some of my earlier videos on this a couple of them I really go into some detail here uh, but there it is something's in this crater this is on Pluto uh, it's only three and a half billion miles away. <clears throat> it's hard for me to believe that, that NASA did not see this, because they check everything. How could they not see this object in this crater? I mean, don't they even look at these pictures? They're supposed to be censoring all this stuff. But the fact of the matter is, is that here it is on Pluto, three and a half billion miles from Earth. And this is, by the way, a billion dollar picture because that's what it costs to get this picture. So we should appreciate that. I'm sure if they'd known that was there, they wouldn't have just popped this up on the website. Now, another funny thing is too, is if you go there usually there's an image gallery well they have an image gallery but all of the photos are fuzzy so I can't believe that they didn't take some better pictures of Mar of uh, Pluto than this and this is really the best one there is you just you, in fact you can look at this right on the website you don't even have to download it if you can just click on the picture get it into another box click it again and then uh, zoom in on it if you can and it's just as clear as this you don't have to download it but I would download it if I were you just to have it okay so here it is something in the crater gee I wonder what it is right there So thank you for stopping by. Feel free to share this. Tell everybody you know. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's all I can do is show you the pictures and show you that there is definitely a some kind of something in that crater. I know what it is, and actually it's a mine. So I forgot to maybe mention that, but they are mining something there. And we should keep in mind that Pluto is very small. This is Pluto compared to Earth. And this is its moon, which is pretty big compared to the size of the dwarf planet Pluto. So it's very small. The diameter of Pluto is only 1,400 miles. Earth's moon is 2,100, so it's way smaller than the moon. So those craters we're seeing are not all that big a crater. So I'm thinking that that object that's in the crater is probably a few hundred feet across at least. Now here we have a the same photo, but I have clear uh, sharpened it up slightly, and it does look better from a distance. Quit doing that. And it's a little sharper. I'm going to zero in on it here. Uh, playing with the controls really doesn't get you a lot with this picture. 
Uh, it seems like it's already uh, uh, as good as it's going to be. But you can see this little pipe going right from here to there. It's a perfectly straight line. If you zoom in on this, uh, you can see it. I'll go ahead and hit it to 900%. I don't know if it's really going to show us anything. But you can definitely see there's a cylinder uh, here with a almost like an opening on top. This isn't as sharp. Um, so I don't think the sharpening and blurring does anything. I think the stock photo they have is the best photo. This is a lighter version where it's lightened up a little bit and you can see the hopper a little better and no matter how you have this you can still see that straight tube that goes from here to there. Like I said this thing swings back and forth and it dumps all this stuff down here. These are like little weird tailing piles or something. One question might be, what are they mining? Well, obviously it's something pretty important if they're going to go all the way to Pluto and set up a what looks like a, be a pretty permanent mine here. Um, we must keep in mind that Pluto is extremely cold. It's at minus hundreds of degrees Fahrenheit or centigrade. Take your pick. It's cold enough to freeze nitrogen and the atmosphere is uh, almost, it's over 90% nitrogen, kind of like Mars is over 90% carbon dioxide, which is the ice that you see on Mars, it's carbon dioxide ice. This is nitrogen ice. All of this dirt that you see here, or rock, or whatever it is, is, is fairly viscous. In other words, it's not as hard as the rock that you would find here on Earth. It contains a lot of nitrogen, ice, and it might even have water ice below. And we can go back to the original picture strip here, and we'll zoom in on some of these craters here, and I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> these craters, excuse me, these craters have not been blasted out of solid rock it looks like they hit something that was fairly soft or like ice and when maybe when they hit it ended up flattening them out because a lot of them have these flat bottoms on it like almost looks like they're filled with liquid or something here's one that's totally flat on the bottom filled with carbon I mean uh, nitrogen ice so when you get your picture, you might want to come down here and check out some more things in this area right here down on the bottom. There's this crater here. This is very unusual. I haven't been able to figure out what this object is sticking in here. And there's uh, looks like a, a some kind of a vehicle parked on a pad here. There's another structure right here. But to save time, I won't go into it. But you get your own picture and you can find that. Or you can look at my previous videos on this Mars, I mean uh, Pluto object in the crater. So for right now I think I'll wind this up because I'm already a little longer than I wanted to be here. I just want to show you that one more time that there is something on Pluto. I don't know how long it's been there. This thing could be here for 50,000 years, 10,000. Uh, hundreds of thousands of years for all I know there's no erosion that's going to take place here so this thing could sit here perfectly preserved for eons and it wouldn't change at all uh, I don't see any signs of steam or anything like that so I, you know this could be abandoned for all I know but it does kind of look like it's working so I hope you uh, enjoyed the uh, video here on the object in the crater on Pluto three and a half billion miles away. So just another piece of evidence that there's a lot more going on out there than probably we'll ever know. But this has been going on for a long time. I would really love to know how long this thing's been sitting here. So, having said that, have a
great day and we'll see you next time take care